Do you think you'd make a better house life panelist than Paul Henry? I would have thought that was highly unlikely, but if you think you're up to the challenge, listen to this. You could be in the running to win two days in Auckland flying Origin Pacific and staying in a Sky City executive suite. Plus a fabulous L'Oreal prize pack, a L'Oreal makeover, and to top it all off, you get to be a house life panelist for a day. You also get to have a nice cosy lunch with Charlotte. Nice. I'll say. All you have to do is make a 60 second video of yourself proving to us that you'd make a good panellist. So for your chance to win, just fill out the entry form at this week's Woman's Day. Send your entries to House Life, PO Box 10026, Dominion Road, Auckland, and you could be in the running. And that's no horsing around. Oh. Are you living in a house life? <laughs> and we're not horsing around at the moment because we are oh. getting so... Oh, no, we just... OK, we're over all the jokes, but I'll stop trying to even make them. Don't. I'll leave that up to Horse. He cracks the best jokes, right? Yeah. No, but we have been getting some amazing, amazing entries into our Panellist for a Day competition. And we have one, actually, to show you from a fabulous woman who's got a little bit of help from her wee friends. Her name is Jo Ayres. Hi, and welcome to today's show of How's Life. Our esteemed panellists are... Blake, with a life experience of three years. Monique, Princess, with a life experience of three and a half years. Jaden McDonald, five and a half. Ethan, six years. And I am your hopeful candidate for your panellist, Jo Ears. As you're aware, not only receiving answers to your letters are very important, but also the facial expressions that we give. Today, we would like to show you some of our facial expressions. For example, listening while the letter is read. Or contemplating the answer to the letter. Or a look of disgust if something isn't agreeable. Or smile or laugh if something is funny. <laughs> Without further ado, let's read our first letter. That's fantastic. Oh, that's good. That's Wasn't good. that wonderful? Yes, Those kids are gorgeous. Well, well done, Joe. Thank let's you very, very much for that. Gosh, we've got so many great talent to choose from. I can't tell you. It's just been amazing. I think we'll be out of a job. Oh, well, look out. There's danger in there. There's some pretty good it. people. Our next letter is from someone who's been on his own for 15 15 whole years and has decided it's time to settle down. We'll have to find this lovely bloke a woman. We will. Not really looking in your direction no. just yet, Julia. <laughs> Dear How's Life, I'm 44 and been a widower since I was 29. Now I'm ready to settle down again, but all the women I meet tell me they just want to be friends. I've tried dating agencies and the internet, but no joy. What else can I do or what can I do? And that's anonymous by the email. Uh, Suzanne. Yes, I think you're looking in the wrong place, because I know for a fact that if you go up the soul bar on a Friday <laughs> night, all right, the women are hanging off the rafters there, and as long as you've got two of everything down the sides and one of everything down the middle, they'll have you up that aisle faster than you can say, get your kit off, so get yourself up there. That's where I met my Duncan. Hi, Duncan. Goodness <laughs> me. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. I must say I have been in there and it's a bit of a, a pick-up it joint. It's well, a bit it of a... I mean, in a nice way. It's not yeah, It's, it's nice not a easy place. No. It's, it's, it's great. It's going to be great. out of control now. Yes. Oh, isn't it? Oh, my oh. goodness. Especially if they think they're going to have a date with... And I believe Julia's even been there as well. Uh, Venna. Hanging off, hanging off the rafters. <laughs> oh, my God. Rafters. Anyway. <laughs> um, you may be ready to, ready to settle down, but I suspect the women that you've been dealing with or dating are not. Um... Like like me like most men and women, um, they can sense an air of desperation, and if you're desperate, it's not very attractive. Um, I think you just need to pull back a little, take your time. Um, if you've tried the internet, you've tried the agencies. Try Julia Hartley. Have you, oh. No, <laughs> no <laughs> there's nothing wrong. Have you tried a mail order bride? <gasps> Good idea. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. yeah, but still, I think this guy wants love, he wants attention, right. he wants to settle down. But you're absolutely right. An air of desperation is the most unattractive yeah. thing with anyone, isn't it, Julia? Uh, I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I can tell you now, I am not desperate. But didn't I suggest you would <laughs> But look, I am in a similar situation to yourself, and the, all the guys I go out with, I say I just want to be friends with, and that's because I haven't found the right one yet, and that's all that, that's the only problem you've got, so just... You've just got to keep going to Soul Bar. No way, Jose, <laughs> darling. Not my cup of tea. 
Oh, <gasps> Colin. Now, by the way, the Soul Bar is actually at the Viaduct it's, in Auckland Harbour. It's a Harbor, great place. And yeah. it is a great yeah. place. And these girls have been there. I've been known to pop my head in there yes. a couple of times. <laughs> Very strong rafters. <laughs> Good. True. Friendship is the best place to start. Uh, I just think you should have a little due process here, one step at a time. And I, think, I don't see what the problem is with friendship. You say, mm. but no joy. No joy what? You want the instant sort of, you know, let's get there, get your kid off? I mean, you know, let's just take one step at a time. I, I, I think you should start there. It's a good, healthy place. And I just also agree absolutely, especially with Vanna, about the air of desperation. Yes, that no. is a really unattractive quality for anybody. You know, you've got to be aloof. You've got to be cautious. It's awful to have to play games in that sort of dating game. But unfortunately, it is a little bit that way. Way. So good luck with that. I'm sure you'll find someone gorgeous to settle down with. And that, I'm sorry to say, is all we have time for today and all we have time for this week. But remember, if you want help with anything from shaving your legs to bringing your modelling career to a close, which I've done completely, <laughs> we can help you. You can write to us at How's Life, PO Box 10026, Dominion Road, Auckland, or email us at howslife at gspictures.co.nz. I hope you'll join me again on Monday when I'll have an all-new panel, Horse, Lani Lopez, Jews, Ju Lani Lopez, Jews, Dobson, as I say, the wonderful Jude Dobson is back, heavily hey. pregnant, hey. and Pior Ture will be here. We'll hear from someone who's playing second fiddle to a Jack Russell, someone who's tried everything to lose weight, and somebody who thinks she may have had a threesome. Somebody Ooh. who's not allowed to do anything. It should be that girl that thought she didn't have a threesome. And somebody who was raped and hasn't told a soul about it until now. It's a great, going to be a great show. Until then, thank you for watching. Thanks to all of this week's panellists. Goodbye from us and have the time of your life this weekend. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day of course! Visit the forum, zoom in for a close-up on Michelangelo's works and enjoy historic beauty. We're in Rome with Pilot Guides tonight at 9.30. News is next on One. It's a great life, are you living in a house life? It's a great life, are you living in a house life?